one week of no contact, so I wanted to celebrate. Woohoo, one week. Let's wake the hell up. One week of no contact with a guy who has no respect for me is something that should not be celebrated. I had to end my relationship because I wasn't getting princess treatment and I was being disrespected. It's not hard to not talk to someone who has no honesty and no respect for me. When people are celebrating, oh, one week of no contact, two weeks of no contact, there's no achievement. There is no celebration in being able to set a boundary and not let someone disrespect you. That is the minimal respect that you should have for yourself. I have not felt the need to break no contact because I have enough self-control to not break it. I mean, there's no urge to break it either because I actually went out and did the work to heal my anxious attachment style from one of my previous exes that really triggered me. So whenever I get in a relationship now, I'm not gonna be pining and longing for them and spending my whole days fantasizing about different scenarios and things that I could have done to make the relationship work. No, that's not how it is. That's not how life goes. I always look back at my relationships, even if they were a complete mess, and I just think, what did I learn from this? What is something good that I can take from this? And then I take it and I move on. There's so many more people that I can end up dating that I'm not going to spend my life missing someone that didn't appreciate me when I had them. Because I know there's someone out there who will really want to earn their place in my life and we will have a good relationship. And if you are in no contact as well and you feel the need to break it, then I think that you are over romanticizing the relationship that you just experienced and you need to look at it without your rose tinted glasses.